Oh, this is hot. Oh, shoot! Hey everybody, call me Felix, and today we're doing something a little different on the show. We're reviewing self-heating meals. And our first ever self-heating meal review is the Instant Hot Pot from Heidi Lao, one of the more popular hot pot restaurant chains to emerge from China. Having eaten at one of the very few Heidi Lao locations in California, I was enthusiastic to see if this Instant Hot Pot is a good alternative to the Heidi Lao restaurant experience as the Heidi Lao branch has yet to open in the Philippines as of this filming. When most people think of Heidi Lao, they think of their outstanding service, and by outstanding, I mean in an uber-efficient, uber-technologically-driven, nearly dystopian way it's so outstanding. The food at Heidi Lao doesn't disappoint either, as the chain is renowned for their broths, from the signature tomato broth to the mala numbing spicy flavor, and much more. The quality of the ingredients is something to behold too, as some locations have Wagyu beef and other premium seafood items. There isn't a substitute to the Heidi Lao experience, and if you get the chance to go to Heidi Lao, by all means go. But today it's all about Heidi Lao's self-heating instant hot pot, and the question if it comes close to the in-restaurant quality. In the Philippines, it's common to find listings of Heidi Lao instant hot pot on Shopee and Lazada, the big e-commerce sites here. There are six flavors of Heidi Lao instant hot pot usually available. Tomato beef, tomato chicken, sour spicy vegetarian, mala beef, mala tripe, and mala vegetarian. For our review, we're trying all six flavors in one go, which also means we've got the spectacle of six self-heating hot pots running simultaneously. Getting one of these instant hot pots isn't exactly cheap. It's a little under 300 pesos per one, or six US dollars. We lucked out that our seller didn't charge the going rate for shipping, and we paid just 80 something pesos for a grand total of 1,914 pesos, or less than 40 US dollars. The seller packaged all six hot pots well, and we received them only in a couple of days. Not bad considering it's a shipment from Manila way up north to Ilocos Norte. The packaging seems to suggest you can feed two to three people for each hot pot, and so on serving size alone, it seems the purchase was worth it. But what about the taste? Does it live up to the lofty Heidi Lao brand? Keep on watching to find out. Okay, so this is the heat um, pot yeah. itself. Here. So I think the graphical instructions are good here. Um, now, because these come directly from China, all of these have just Chinese uh, script. So this is the great yeah. outer hot pot where it, it cooks. Is. So you can see here that the inner pot, this is where all the food and ingredients go in. Chopstick and spoon. Yes, chopstick and spoon. That will be for later. What's this? I don't know this. Thing. I think these are the ingredients. This is the chemical reaction. This is the chemical, yeah, uh, this is the pad. Yeah. Later we open this, you know. Those are the vegetables, yes. There's the got some lotus root. There's some kelp. It's like um <laughs> corn. Oh it's, yes, it is corn. Yeah, it's corn. So that's the white bean vermicelli noodles, yes. Very nice. And the last one is sauce. The sauce. Hmm, and you can smell that. It smells quite uh, fragrant. Those uh, chilies, right? Oh, yeah. Smells smoky. They smell meaty as well. You gotta line it up exactly where the line is. So this is our mala beef. And of course it comes again with um, lotus root, some kelp. Looks like some bamboo shoots. Some, um, what are your fungus? Are we putting the beef in there? Yes. So. Yes, yes, yes. That's our beef. It looks a little better than processed, I guess you could say. And the noodles, the smooth noodles, like spaghetti. Well, so rice bean vermicelli, though. Ew. Or mung bean vermicelli. You can see these are a little it's, thicker than... Uh, it's different from the other one. Yeah, it's not quite as transparent, then though. Then it's the sauce. Yes. So once again, there's some more mala spice here. And, by the way, at the real Heidi Lao restaurant, these mala uh, broths, oh, do they mean business? It's not exactly uh, watered down stuff. I mean, once you add that water, it really becomes fragrant, that paste. What's another flavor? This is tomato beef. Um, Heidi Lao is especially known for the tomato broth. This is not spicy. It's uh, tomato beef. It almost looks like ketchup. Look at that. Ketchup. Like Heinz ketchup sort of color here. So this one doesn't really, once you put the water in there, it doesn't really smell. 
But yeah, it is not ketchup, I assure you. This is the tomato vegetable soup, I think. Oh, sorry. Sour, spicy. I always get it mixed up. So green is tomato vegetable. Or er, no. No, green is... I think green is mala because it has a spicy soup. I think this is the sour spicy. Wow, look at those lotus roots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the lotus roots, they look pretty firm too. So I think through cooking through 15 minutes should remain pretty, you know, crunchy. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them is the curry one off the top of my head. I think there's a kimchi one as well. But again, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. So this is the tomato chicken. So this is chicken with their tomato broth. Ooh. So again, it kind of looks kind of like the, this one's a little more like ragu, like spaghetti sauce rather than, um, ketchup. but it's the same sort of tomato broth. Like, yeah. What's it smell like? Tomato brothy. Tomato broth with a little bit of like a vinegary type, type or herbaceous smell. Yeah. There's a slight like oregano smell. Yeah. Kind of like peanut bed in a way. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, if you smell it, if you smell it long enough, it kind of smells like a peanut bed smell. And the last one, this is the crispy beef tripe. Ooh, this is the one I heard is like the best seller. Yeah. Crispy beef. My finger. Okay. Is it heating? Wait. <laughs> Should you close it? Yeah, you have to close it. Okay, next one. Starting. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Wow. Then look at that. It's venting! Oh, that's crazy. Wow, so right after like 30 seconds, it starts. Again, let's up to the line. Put that heat pad in. Okay, now. We've gone ahead and stirred up our oh, pot, so then it should look nice. Okay, then. Okay, now put it on there. <laughs> and then you set it and forget it. <laughs> hey, just like... <laughs> just like that Rampo Peel guy on those infomercials of that stupid Showtime oven. You set it and forget it. Okay, I, it's an American joke, guys. This is the sour spicy vegetable. Vegetarian soup. You mean to say all of them are all spicy? Not all of them. It, the tomato chicken is not. The that tomato one? beef is not. That one looks spicy. That's yeah, mala that's spicy. So four of the six are spicy to a certain extent. Whoa, muggy. There it goes. Letting off steam. Then you should take a like a bath in the bathtub, and then I'll put this in there and see what happens. <laughs> He doesn't want a chemical bath. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, that could be hazardous to your health. Oh, this is hot. Oh, shoot! Make sure to... <laughs> you start those meal. Make sure it's sealed tight, okay? They think that's the reason why the thing kind of... Yeah. Seal it tight, guys. Okay. You guys have like 30 seconds to... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like implanting a grenade in these things. Oh, this one's hot, too. Oh yeah, I don't believe it. All red. Uh oh, there it goes. Wait, 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 wait! Amazing. You can hear them all boiling. And it smells just like a hot pot restaurant. Oh, I love the smells of hot pot restaurants. I don't know about you guys, but I certainly do. Especially Mala hot pot. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, mama, tell me, tell me. Oh. So stir that in there. Yeah, let's uh, do some stirring, shall we? Mmm. Yeah. Where's the uh, some noodles? I'm curious. There's some tripe here. Oh, there it is. 
These are our crispy tripes. Mm. Yeah, now the small. only thing is, of course, is that I do allow they have a ton of hot pot sauces, dipping sauces, and you can make like any type of dipping sauce practically. So, that's the only thing we don't have here, unfortunately. But I think you can buy some Heidi Love um, dipping sauces. Okay. So, those are the tripes. Ooh. So, of course, first thing we've got to do is try the so broth. I think I'm in a good position here. Try that broth and you see how red that is. So, we've stirred this around quite a bit. And here we go. Mmm. It's not too spicy, this. More has like a... I'm getting more of like sesame oil. And of course, a little citrusy from the Sichuan peppercorns. But it's not too overdone with the peppercorn, so that's good. Um, I'll say though, the broth is spicier at Heidi Lao. And it kind of completes it. There's nice smokiness out of there, but... Mm. I'm getting a little more of that spice. More, more a little more integrated, but I think it's good. I think, to me, personally, it tastes a little bland. The vegetables, like the bamboo shoot, nice um, texture. There's a bit of bite. Yeah, that's good, too. Tell me. Here's the crispy tripe. This too is quite good. It's not really crispy. It's just got a little bit of like a... It's very clean. It's got more creaminess, I think. I'm getting more sour than the spice. I love lotus root, so here you go. Mm. Nice crunch all the way through. Soaks up this broth really well as well. So this is the ano? chicken tomato. Chicken wings. Let me try this. Oh, it's spicy. You think it's spicy? I mean, it's good spicy. It's good spicy. Um, for it's a me, citrus flavor. Yeah, for me, it's um, it's nicely balanced. I don't think it's overdone with the peppercorn, even though it's like the citrus is really coming on. Tofu skin's got a nice chew as well. So you know what? This is pretty dang good. Let's try out some of that chicken in the tomato broth. It kind of does have like a gingery sort of tomato taste. It's like real like chicken. As far as like the white meat, it doesn't really taste like too processed or too... Too soft, like processed. There's a little bit of chew. That's good. And then this is... More of a tart type of sour. Too spicy for you, JP? It's just weird, that numbing feeling. I mean, that that tingling. Really? Yeah, just weird. I've never, like, experienced that before. Oh, have you done just one hot pot before? No, no, never. Oh, okay. So, so that's, that's really... That's really the taste, but Woo. it does punch you with the spice, though. Yeah, it's like, um... It's more like a spice that kind of grows on you, though. And then... Yeah. Like I said, it's a numbing later on. Mala, okay. Mala, yeah. Ooh. Let's try some of those noodles out. Those like the vermicelli noodles. And of course they come in each pack as well. The noodles have a nice, good enough chew. Um, just enough elasticity. They have that chew. Now oh, that's soft. And like I said, this tomato broth kind of has a gingery sweetness about it. It's kind of like, like I was saying, it's kind of like peanut bit in a way. You get like oscillating tartness with um, sweetness. Yeah, it's pretty much in the spirit again of Pai Di Lao at the restaurant. But a little bit bland. Ugh. A little bland. A little watery, a little bland. Okay, this is our... This is the sour spicy vegetable soup. Mm. The noodles 
eat up the sour spicy broth nicely. <laughs> there's a little vegetal, there's vegetal flavors that's running in through the noodles too. Yeah, they absorbed it, huh? What do you think, Lauren? Uh, damn, there's a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ginger, yes, yeah. there's a ginger. I feel like right away, I really like the broth of the sour spicy. Mm, it's good. I think it's the less bland of the three. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a tastier one. Nice acidity. Mainly the acidity. Warren, Gonna bounce out with the heat. Drink the soup. Here's your spoon. So I think like the broths are pretty good, but once again, because I think broth making is really like the strength of Heidi Lauf. Um, I think the sour spicy so far kind of lives up to the hype of that. Do you feel that tingling in your <clears throat> tongue? Yeah. I've, I've never had that before. It's the... the it's numbing, Shishuan peppercorns. Numbing spice, he says. But it's yeah. tingly. How does it feel, Warren, to eat this uh, spicy mala tripe one? It's look like the um, samyang. Um, no. no? <laughs> Salmyong is really intense. This is not... I wouldn't say it's really intense. I think you're apples to oranges. Okay, this is the tomato beef. So I think this is the one I was looking forward to the most. That and the mala beef. Uh, mala beef is the next one. Yeah. It's a little process. It's like a dry sort of brisket. I don't think it... Um, absorbs quite as well in them. So I think like with the tomato beef is quite different from the tomato chicken because um, it absorbs more of the sweetness of the beef, the natural sweetness of the beef, and then it um, augments the sweetness. So depending on what you like, you might find this one more flavorful as far as like tomato beef is concerned. And this is like one of their specialties, really. This one is? This one? Yes. Oh. Well, on the sweet side, but I don't think is it's it? overbearingly sweet. Okay, let me try it. It's not like ketchup, for example. Let me try the tomato <coughs> chicken instead. I think to me, this one takes you on a little more of a roller coaster ride with the broth. This one is more tart. It was a little more in balance. It's more a gentler tomato soup flavor. This one is a little sweeter, more robust with the beef. Um, I feel, of course, it's still a little bit bland compared to, again, I keep comparing it to Heidi Lao restaurants because, of course, this is Heidi Lao brand, so I can't resist it. Um... It doesn't quite have that intensity like it does at the restaurant. This one's actually pretty good. Yes. I got a piece of brisket. I think I want to try that fattier piece though. I don't think it's fattier, but... Mm. So I think this is a br piece of brisket. It has a little more... A little more tender, I believe. Yeah. It's a little dry. Processed taste, but it's actually really good for processed beef. But yeah, process, for processed beef, it's pretty good. The texture's a little dry like processed beef. It's really just absorbed more of like the like anise flavor. Okay. All right then. I'm gonna try this mala beef. Next. See how much. Got it here. This one compared to the tripe. Let me try the tripe again. Is it the same soup base? It should be the same soup base, but a of course okay. with the different. Oh, different noodles. No, different main ingredient. Wow. But different, this one has different noodles too. Mala beef has more of like a more robust beef flavor. 
-hmm. with the spice. So there's a little more augmentation with the smokiness. There, this one is a little gentler and more citrusy. Here's the beef. I think this might be a little more tender cut of beef. A little more fat too. There you go. Yeah, the cut here I think is a little bit better based off that one morsel. Okay, we'll try this one. Mala vegetarian. One thing I really like is that the vegetables generally are crisp, they're juicy. Um, so I, I'm pretty much impressed with as far as like the vegetables are concerned, like the condition that they're in. And then the spicy broth here, a little more citrusy too, kind of like with the mala tripe. But of course, it doesn't have the robustness from the meat. All right, time to wrap this up with some final thoughts on the Heidi Lao self-heating instant hot pot. For 300 pesos a pop or six US dollars, I think the portion size for each hot pot is good enough to fit two, or yourself if you're feeling ravenous. Each hot pot comes with plenty of vegetables and enough main ingredients to be a hearty meal. Depending on where you are in the world, 300 pesos or 6 US dollars seems a steep price tag if there are better alternatives around you for the same price or cheaper. As for the taste of the hot pots, I was least impressed by all three Mala hot pots. For me, the broth was bland, a tad watery, and lacking depth, as well as spice. The lack of robustness from the Mala soup was disappointing. In addition, I found the crispy tripe to be too chewy, to be crispy, and too small to be substantial. The soup I enjoyed the most from the six hot pots was the spicy sour vegetarian soup. I loved the bold sour punchiness of the broth with the spice cutting into the sourness at the end. If you love sinigang or tom yum that's more sour punchy, you will like this spicy sour vegetarian hot pot. I also enjoyed both the tomato chicken and tomato beef broths. Needless to say, the in restaurant Heidi Lao tomato broth is deeper in taste than these instant hot pots, but I like the gingery accents balancing out the sweetness of the tomato broth, and this was more evident in the chicken version, whereas the beef one's more natural beef sweetness of the tomato broth. To me, the tomato beef was almost reminiscent of the watermelon beef short rib sinigang at Manam, which I find utterly perplexing. The tomato chicken soup keeps the balance intact, and for this reason, I think having the soup with the spicy sour vegetarian soup is an ideally balanced meal if we had to choose two hot pots. As for the quality of the ingredients, although I think the chicken and beef for processed meat were quite tender, the flavors were on the bland side, and there simply wasn't enough in the mix. The lotus root was nicely crunchy, although the potato slices that looked to me initially like bamboo shoots were too hard, and the kelp could have been a little bit thinner. And the vermicelli noodles in each have decent enough chew and elasticity to soak up the broth nicely. Truth be told, I don't see myself purchasing Heidi Lao self-heating instant hot pots again unless I'm going for a picnic and or a camping trip. The quality is decent for instant meals, but with the Heidi Lao brand slapped on it, it's a bit disappointing. Needless to say, go to Heidi Lao restaurant if you can. And so if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Better yet, please subscribe for more food and travel adventures as there's plenty still to come. Thanks for watching and until the next video, keep cool but care and remember, the empire never ended.